Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's another Rank Up Palooza. Now, this particular video covers a month's worth of Rank Up and Level Ups. And as you can see, the first one that I'm taking up is Diablo. All right, now you'll notice that he's a five star and I took him to rank four. So while I'm doing these rank ups, I want to explain a little bit of my thought process and why I rank up champions that I do. And maybe that'll help you guys uh, in your situation with your account. Now, keep in mind that my account is fairly old okay i started playing before there were five and six star champions in the game so a lot of my four stars were already maxed out but i continued to take up my four stars even though there were five stars and six stars in the game now one of the reasons is for efficiency i don't buy offers I am largely free to play. Um, and what that means is that my source of units, for example, and resources mainly comes from playing the game. So when there is a level up event on, I'm going to want to get at least that second to last milestone. Uh, that's where you get the units. Now, this is important because... A lot of people ask me, do you still rank up five stars? Yes, as you can see, I still rank up four stars. Now, my rationale for which one I do is a little different. When you see me ranking up a five star, one of two things is the case. Either I have a lot of T2 alphas and I need to use them up. And in this case, I had a lot of T2 alphas in my overflow. And that's why I took... Uh, those five-star champions, Diablo, and you can see here Scarlet Witch, why I took them to rank four, because that does not take uh, any T5 basics, which is still precious to me at this level. Uh, so if I want to use up a lot of T2 alphas, but I don't want to use up my T5 basics, I have to basically take a five-star to rank four. So when you see me doing that, that is almost always the reason. Then there are the four stars. Now, what I would do in order to get the units from the level up is I would take my champions to rank two, rank three. But of course, over time, I've gotten all the four stars and all of them are now currently, as I'm uh, recording this, they're all rank four. I took them up slowly but surely from rank, you know, to rank three, and then I had everybody at rank three. Then when I needed to get, you know, some extra uh, points in the level up, I would need to take one to rank four. Well, I kept doing that until finally I have all four stars at rank four. So uh, you'll see me maxing out four stars now, because if I'm going to get those extra points, I no longer have a choice. I don't have any four stars that I can take to just like rank three or rank four. Everybody is rank four or five. Now, another reason that that's a good idea for me is that I'm a hardcore arena grinder. You kind of have to be if you're going to um, compete at a higher level. You're not going to buy offers and you need to get as much as you can from the game itself. So... I always do the arenas. Summoner Trials, they revamped it and the arena called Summoner Trials, I basically use my four stars in. And because I have a lot of maxed out four stars, it doesn't take me very long to get that done. So having more maxed out four stars, and that's pretty much all I use. Sometimes if I'm, you know, not doing anything else, I might run my rank fours, you know, not all of them, but just a few of my rank fours, you know, at the top. But mainly I run my maxed out four stars and I forget how many I have, but it's got to be at least 75 uh, that are maxed out. 
So very easy to get the Summoner Trials uh, done. But slowly but surely, as I need these points, I'm going to end up with all my four stars at rank five. Now, the other rationale that has me ranking up these uh, four stars, uh, maxing them out, is whether I like the champion, because like I just said, I will use them in the arena and I'm always in the arena. So I'm gonna want to prioritize the four stars that I don't mind using in the arena because I know I'm gonna be using them every round if they are maxed out. Okay, so that's what you see me doing here. Uh, when there's an advancement on, I double dip, even though the advancement rewards are not suited for my current progression level, I still like to do it. Um, maybe it's just a habit, uh, but I do like to do it and I like to maximize the resources that I get in the game by doing that. So that's why you see me prioritizing these uh, mystic champions and taking them to rank five. All right, so uh, that is my rationale for the four stars, um, <clears throat> the five stars, and I do want to focus more on my six stars, but what's holding me back currently are the T5 basics. So I have quite a few champions as six stars that I would love to take up. Currently in the game, there is a imbalance. We get a lot more T2 alphas, uh, at my level anyway, than we do T5 basics. So um, I can't take up the champions that I want. Now, the other thing about the um, four stars, you remember how I said that if I have a lot of T2 alphas in my overflow uh, and I wanna use them up, I have to use uh, take a five star to rank four. That way I'll use up my T2 alphas, <clears throat> but I'll also use up my T4 class catalyst. So I have to be careful about that. But <clears throat> say I have, I don't have a lot of T2 alphas in the overflow and I have a lot of T4 class catalysts. Like currently I have a lot of um, tech in my overflow. And so what I will do in that case, when I have a lot of T4 class catalysts and T4 basics, I'll want to take up four stars to rank five. That'll use up the T4 basics and it'll use up the T4 class catalysts. So that's also uh, what I'm thinking. That's what I use my four stars currently, even though, you know, I'm, I'm at that progression level where six stars are what I use to, to complete most content. The arena, the points in the, um, you know, advancements or the uh, level ups and that sort of thing. That's why I still rank up the four stars. I don't use them uh, to complete content or anything like that. Um, but Kabam has been known to uh, release content where you need to use your four stars. And if they do that again, I'm all ready and set. Uh, I have, uh, I think, all but two champions, Thanos and uh, Deadpool. Deadpool is behind a paywall, so I don't have him. And Thanos is a trophy champion, and I just never got him. I actually did get Kang. Um, right now, there's a, a four-star that's not in the game yet, but it's in the game files. I'll pick uh, her up. It's uh, Misty Knight. But other than that, I have all of the four-star champions. And I'm slowly getting them to rank five. And I'm slowly getting my five stars all to rank four. This is how... I ended up doing it before with rank three. I got all, it took me years, but I got all of my five stars to rank three. Now, slowly, I'm getting them to rank four. Don't know how long that'll take, 
but I'm only taking them up when I don't have enough T5 uh, basics to take up a six star that I wanna take up and I need to use up T2 alphas. Other than that, I don't really uh, take up five stars unless I don't have them as a six star and I need them to complete some content. In that case, yes, I will take up one of these champions, um, a five star to rank five. Otherwise, we're, we're using the same uh, resources uh, that we need for the, uh, you know, six star champions. So I don't want to do that. But anyway, that's just a, a little glimpse into uh, my thought process, why I rank up the champions that I do. So when you see these videos, you'll know why I'm still ranking up these four stars, why you see me sometimes rank up a five star to rank four. Uh, and that sort of thing. Uh, right now, since at the top of the progression level that I'm at, um, six stars are the thing. I don't normally include six star rank ups. I I'll level up a six star, but I won't include a six star rank up in these types of videos. These videos are mainly for the lower, like four stars and five stars. When I take a six star to rank two or rank three, or a five star to rank five, it's still somewhat of a big deal. And so I will make a separate video for those, but for these, yeah. So you see the, you know, cosmic advancement. I try to put in at least 130,000 points and that gives me that uh, one to 10%. And so I can get the rewards that I wanna get out of it. Like I said, there's still somewhat dated for me. All right, now you saw there, level up is about to end and I showed you the next uh, event. I actually waited until the next event so that I could see if I could double dip. Uh, be careful because I actually missed a level up doing that. I was waiting and then I just completely forgot all about the level up. And when I did remember, I had missed it by like 30 seconds. I looked and it was gone and I didn't have an event and I went over to the completed and it said 30 seconds ago, it had ended. I felt sick, uh, which meant I, I, you know, I lost those units and I didn't get a chance to level up because I actually enjoy leveling up champions. I like watching the champions grow and get more powerful, that sort of thing. Uh, you see here, this is a new champion uh, that I, you know, recently pulled. Uh, she's not going to change my account or anything, but I still like her. She's fun. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever rank her all the way up, but we'll see. Uh, things happen. Kabam has been buffing champions, even though they're on sort of a hiatus of that right now. And I hope they get back to it because it was something that we really look forward to. It was something that they actually did right. So I hope so. Uh, now, you notice that I had a two-star Craven who was not um, ranked up or leveled up or anything like that. I usually keep that for when there's an advancement and then I, you know, take them up. But I haven't been uh, doing that uh, lately with him because I don't think we had a skill advancement. I don't think so. Uh, now, you saw all of these six stars here. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'll level them up, but I won't rank them up in these videos. So all of the champs that you just saw that were ready to be leveled up recently were acquired by me. And I didn't, I missed a level up. So I just went ahead and leveled up everybody. Uh, they should have been leveled up from before. And uh, not bad champions, and I love new champions because I'm an arena grinder, and it gives me more points in the arena. Now, um, the next arena is going to be, uh, I know, Penny Parker and I think Hulkbuster. Penny Parker is going to be in the basic. 
Now, round one, I'm not going to go for Penny Parker, but I do want to pick her up as a six star. So next round, next week, uh, I'll be going for her. More points in the arena means I'm going to have an easier time putting up a score that I'll need to get her. And I might not need to uh, use units to refresh. My unit stash is quite low because of the recent, you know, um, offers. And um, they were good offers, too. Uh, I couldn't I couldn't refuse those offers uh, and the gifting event. And I recently uh, used 5000 units to uh, grind for Hercules and got him. So my units are low and I was not looking to grind for another champion like I did for Hercules anyway. But there are a few Kitty Pride, um, Null, Penny Parker. Um, trying to think who else. But Kitty Pride is probably the biggest one. Uh, but I do want to pick up a uh, Penny Parker. Uh, Kitty Pride may take some units, and I do have more units than that. I'm, I'm closing in on 2,000 units uh, since this level up was done. Uh, so I, I should have enough to uh, put up a score that will get them. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. All right. But anyway, so that's pretty much uh, what you see me doing here. Uh, level up my champions. I normally do this. Um, I'll cut my videos up uh, so that it's like 10 minutes each. And I'll do like maybe two level ups. But what I was finding is that a lot of times, especially now, I don't have that many champs to level up each time. So I'm finding that I'm bunching them up more. Okay. Uh, now you see here, this level up, I already have a lot of points in that level up. Okay. But I don't have 130,000 points like I like to. And so I was going to stop. I looked and said, wait, you know what? Let's take up this three star. They gave us a three star Misty Knight for free. I would have picked her up anyway, but they gave her to me for free. So I'm like, well, I will take her up and that'll get me the points and get me the one to 10%, which it did, uh, that I'm looking for because it is, it is heartbreaking to do all that leveling up and not get the, uh, one to 10%. And it's happened to me uh, a couple of times when I've gone below 130. So I try not to. Now, you will notice uh, more often I won't be going for, you know, 130 in the level up because I just don't have enough to level up. And I'm trying to pace myself because soon I'm going to end up having to use the big boy resources because uh, that'll be all that I have. OK, here's another level up. And as you can see. We're on, again, that final um, event. Okay, so I'm just looking to see who do I have uh, left to level up here. And that is a new champion. And so that's who I'm going to level up. Uh, he came out of a Nexus. And if you hadn't watched that video, it was a free uh, Cavalier that I opened that gave me a six star nexus and he was there. Um, trying to remember who else was there. I can't remember who else was in there. I think that was the one that came out of the nexus. Uh, I might be confusing him and the nexus that I chose, um, symbiote Supreme from. But I believe that was a Nexus. Uh, I, I do believe I chose him. But in any case, 
Uh, I got him recently. Uh, still don't have even arena teams, but I'm one off. And if I get this penny, uh, I will be at even arena teams temporarily. Temporarily, once again. All right. Uh, now, Terax, I do want to have awakened. Uh, they recently buffed him. And he does more damage, but he's still not account changing. So, it's nice. I probably won't even take him to rank two. Um, he's still an annoying defender. I still see people using him in Alliance War. He has good counters. You know, Black Widow Clairvoyant is a good counter for him. Gladiator Hulk is a good counter for him. Uh, but he's still an annoying defender. Um, but just taking him to... to, to level 25 for right now uh to get more points that's it all right so let me see yeah at this point you can see what my level up look like okay uh lots of points and uh oh man uh just to get a little bit off the uh topic uh, I will be releasing some videos for 7.2. I just did the first quest. And so tomorrow you'll probably see the first one. And I'm going to try to slow play it a little bit. Just do it as I feel like it. Um, but next week is when you can expect to start seeing uh, more of those videos. Uh, the reason that I thought of it was you notice that I had a lot of um, revives, health potions, that kind of thing expiring. Well, this morning, I had about two hours left on a lot of them. I couldn't use them all. I went into uh, Act 7.2.1, and I did it. I, I tried to use some uh, health potions, but I ended up using like one. And uh, I could have used a revive, but <clears throat> what gets me is sometimes I'll be like, no, I want to see if I can do it without a revive. And then I do it, and I'm like, dope. Darn it. That's exactly what I didn't want to do because I wanted to use up these items. So I ended up selling a lot of the health potions and um, the revives. Uh, so we're going to, though, um, start working on that because... My Hercules is hungry for Sig Stones. And if the rumored rewards for Act 7 exploration are true, I want to get it. And I've been slack. I've lacked a lot of motivation. But I'm, I'm slowly getting it. I'm slowly getting it. Uh, now... This is a, a relatively recent uh, acquisition here. Captain America, Sam Wilson. It's only the four star because I picked him up during the um, uh, round one. He was in the milestones because they, they switched to that. I'm so happy they did that too. Uh, and so I was able to take him up. I am currently grinding for Sam Wilson as a five star. In fact, uh, in two hours the arena will be over and I have put up, um, what did I put up? 63 million, which should be enough. Uh, it would have been enough for uh, round one. So hopefully it's going to be enough for this one as well. And I put up my usual scores in all the other arenas as well. Uh, so the next level up, you're going to see me take Sam Wilson, Captain America up. Uh, he's a tech, and, and you can see here, did you see the tech T4CCs that I have in my overflow? Remember what I said earlier? See the T2 alphas? That's why you see me ranking up some of the champions that you see me taking up, okay? Uh, I am, even now, even after doing what I'm about to do, um, I think I, I waited, uh, and I ended up taking him up. Um, I'm still with the overflow for T4 CC's, uh, tech, but once I get 
that uh, five star, he's probably going to go straight to rank three. I'll hold him, hope that there's a tech advancement on so I can double dip. But even if there isn't, the next level up, which will be in the next level up video, you're going to see Captain America, Sam Wilson, five star. If I get him, go right to uh, rank three. And then we'll see who else I have by that time. Uh, and if I'm close to uh, 130,000 points, uh, what you'll see me do then is start looking at the, um, what do you call it? Start looking at the four stars and seeing who do I want to take to rank five just to get me over, you know, that, that point, you know, uh, so I can get the 130, but you're also going to see, uh, sometimes I only go for the second to last milestone in the level up. That's because I don't have the resources in excess and I just want to get the points so that I can get those units. That's really it. All right. Um, but here I'm, I'm just taking up the three star. Um, and that's, uh, I think all of my three stars are maxed as well. So I'm ready. If they come out with another variant like they did before, I'm ready. All right. So you see where I'm at right there. And I'm looking again. See what uh, I'm going to. You know, do I have anybody here uh, to take up? You can see that I can take some champs up and I'm looking at the tech. And during my live stream, people were like, hey, Kang is pretty good with, with some synergies. So I said, all right, let's take Kang up. Uh, only to four. Don't get excited, all you Kang lovers. Only to four for right now. But... At least I'm taking him up. He he was just a trophy champion, but with a synergy, apparently he's not that bad. I still don't see myself taking him up uh, and using him a lot, but at least I can take him up. Now, uh, what's funny is that his PI is still below other rank fours. So when I was going through my roster and and you know live stream and grinding. I was going and I said, I'll stop, you know, once I, I finish off my rank fours. But I saw a bunch of uh, rank threes, sorry, not rank fours, but rank, well, rank fours as well. But I saw a lot of rank threes and he his PI is low. Even those rank threes were higher than him at rank four. All right. But anyway, that is going to do it. He's the last one uh, for this video. Sorry that the video took this long, but... It's a full month, all right? So take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. And you all have a blessed day.